Hey guys, it's Lauren. I'm currently sitting in the grass outside my house, just chilling. Because you know what? I've been digging yellow and green and I found these flowers and I'm wearing yellow, so I was like, this is perfect. <laughs> but anyways, you can probably tell by the title of this video that I'm finally bringing myself to doing my car tour. I said I would last summer because I got my car last summer and a lot of people on my vlogs were like, you should totally do a car tour. And I was like, hey, it's about time I finally did that, so we're gonna do it. This is my car. It is a 2008 Jeep Liberty named Charlotte. I came up with her name in a vlog, like just off the top of my head and it's kind of become like a thing. Like everyone calls her Charlotte. But anyway, let's take a look inside. It's a little hot in here. Mm. <laughs> what exactly are you doing back there, Lainey? I'm trying to figure out how I can do this because it's really hot in here. <laughs> All right, so when you get in here, you have cloth seats and the interior is like this light browny, taupey color. The combo of black and this color are really cool together, but I really like this because I'm not picky on cars and I'm not a cars person. You just have the steering wheel, all that fun nifty stuff. Up here I just hung a little phone charm that my uh, great aunt made me and then this little L Magic Kingdom. You can't really see it super bright out, but it's just a little L keychain that one of my friends got me. Up here I just put this little rose that we got at a basketball game. I have no clue why I put it up there, but it looks pretty neat. The classic. Mirror, I hope you guys can see this. Ooh, there's me, hi. I call this my secret compartment. Oh yeah, you could put, you could use this as like a third um, cup holder for smaller drinks, or I like to put my phone in there sometimes, so, you know, you know. And then I think this is really cool because I have like a little sunglass compartment where I have a cleaning cloth and a couple pairs of my sunglasses that I like to keep up here. I've got a Yankee Candle Air Scent in Pink Sands. Got all these control panels. The world's longest aux cord. Look at that thing. <laughs> right here is where you can switch it from two-wheel drive for the winter. It's really nifty to have and hand sanitizers some tweezers and that is literally disgusting. A pack of Sour Patch Kids dumped right there and I haven't been able to get it out. But yeah, emergency tiny tweezers. Then I like to keep some gum in here so I just have some extra winter mint gum. And then I always like to keep like water or something in here. Right in here I just have some more of the Yankee Candle vent sticks and then some extra hand sanitizers. These are Christmas ones, so. And then I have some CDs that I like to listen to. I have uh, The Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, Awesome Mix Volume 2, you know, gotta love Guardians of the Galaxy. Years and Years Communion and Harry Styles and some strange spare change. This thing comes out and this is, you know, Got the good breakfast on the go, nut and granola mix. <laughs> some emergency granola bars, some more gum, just Orbit gum, and then some strawberry Pop-Tarts, which I really want a strawberry Pop-Tart now. <laughs> but that's pretty much all that's right here, and now I somehow have to figure out how I had this all wedged in here the first time. All right, I think I got it. Smells like Yankee Candle in here. Over here in this little cubby, I just have my car registration, just a bunch of boring stuff. Over here, I have an emergency feminine product bag. I guess I was trying to discover a, lo a channel logo or photo logo or something. I always have some kind of jacket over here just because you never know when you're gonna need a jacket or you're gonna be chilly and I'm just too lazy to either take it out or bring it in, so that's that, and 
From the time that we got the red flower that I have up there, we also got these red bead necklaces. So I think I found this on the floor of my car like two weeks ago and I just never have taken it out from that. <sighs> Coming into the back seat, I have pillow pet for those traveling times. A blanket because I just went to a baseball game and we laid on a blanket that's still in here. An emergency umbrella because you know, you can never be too prepared. I have an emergency light, super bright. Another emergency granola bar, a pen, some napkins. Back of the seats have these little compartments. This was something that I was super excited to discover. It's literally like an actual outlet, charging outlet, where you can just plug in normal chargers too. So window which I generally have on child lock because Lainey's annoying and she rolls down my windows all the time. <laughs> also up front I forgot to mention that I have a Bath and Body Works scent portable. Holy mother of pearl it is hot in here. Here in the back is where you're really going to laugh. Ouch that is hot. I basically moved all of my winter stuff back to the back of my car. Back here I have a bunch of random stuff an insulated car scraper, another car scraper, winter hat, bag that I did not know where it was until now, blanket, green bomber jacket, Laney's heavy winter coat, a lawn chair for old tennis shoes just in case I ever need them, these knockoff Birkenstocks if I actually put these in here for winter formal because I didn't want to have to drive in high heels so those are just here from that. I have some hot spot hand and glove warmers, an old North Face, and some gloves to match my hat. And then this thing that just comes over if you want it to. <gasps> okay, so now that I am officially sweating from being trapped in a hot car, that was it, basically just how I customize my car and what I end up keeping in there now that I've had my car for a year and I've kind of got to live in it a couple sports seasons, made it my own. I love my car. I highly recommend Jeep Liberties. They're really awesome. And I, I could say that I probably drive a pretty decent amount. I go back and forth, drive to all over the place and I literally have not had to fill my gas tank in two weeks so pretty good. I'm not a car person or a car expert so I don't really know the statistics or anything fancy schmancy about Jeeps or Jeep Liberties but I really like my car. So that concludes my car tour. I really hope you guys liked this video. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did like it, and go ahead and click that subscribe button or the picture of my face in the bottom of the screen. If you're on a desktop, if you would like to subscribe, if you have not done so already. This has been such a fun journey and just my passion, and it's helped me to discover myself. It's just been great. All of my social media is linked down below so you guys can go ahead and follow me. I've been really loving photography lately as I have for like the past two years but I've really been getting into it and creating my technique and all kinds of stuff so I hope you guys like that. Be sure to go check that out if you have not already. I think that's about it guys so I'm just gonna stop sitting in my yard like a creep and my dad just mowed so there's like Alright, see you next time guys. Bye! Oh, remember to spread love, not hate. Bye! <laughs> my neighbors probably think I'm an extreme idiot because I've just been prancing around my yard taking pictures and posing and looking for a neat place to sit down and talk to myself. It's a little toasty. Get in here. Whoopsies.